Hey guys, I hope you have a great time. In today's video, we will find out how to display and download digital elevation models or DEMs using Global Mapper Pro. We show you how to display a DEM in different models, either for entire globe or a desired area, for applied dynamic hill shading and so on. If you have questions, leave a comment, and if the video was helpful, like it and subscribe to our channel. Okay, let's see how we can download a DM in no time. To get it started, you need to go to the online sources section of the software. In the open window, you can access all types of digital elevation models from both popular sources and worldwide data. There are several types of digital elevation models, some of which have better accuracy. Here we select SRTM Worldwide Elevation Data. Because the accuracy of this data is 30 meters. Digital elevation model can be displayed for the entire globe. We go to our desired area. In this section, you can see the Digital Elevation Model Guide. Red color indicates higher altitude. And the blue color indicates a lower height. By zooming in on the area, we will see a better resolution of the area. Here, the Global Mapper Pro tool allows us to display the DM in a variety of models. For example, you can display your DM in terms of slope, aspect, or even vegetation indices such as NDVI. While on other software, you have to do some processing to apply such commands. So, based on your requirements, your needs, you can select any of these items you like and display the DEM. Hill shading can be displayed here as well, which you can turn off and on. This option helps you in visual display and 3D vision. Dynamic hill shading is awesome in Global Mapper Pro. We can dynamically change the angle of the sun to have a more suitable display, while on other software we should define the angle of the sun each time that we run the hill shade command. You can use this tool to see the area at different hours of the day. To cut a range or extract an area from the DEM of the whole world, we need to right-click on our layer. In the open window, go to Layer and select the Export option. First, we need to determine the file format. As you can see, a wide range of formats are supported in this software. Since we have a DEM, so we choose GeoTIFF. And in its Export options, we go to Export Bounds and select Draw a Box option. A window is opened that we should specify a range or a specific area for the output. We zoom in on our area and specify a range. And choose a saving path and save the output in it. Then, we import the saved image into the software.
As you can see, the area we intended to crop has been cut correctly.